Good morning, everybody. Lynn, the leather bag lady here again today with you on Monday morning. Uh, what are we? January 25th, I think, today? A month ago, it was Christmas Day. So, has it been... Part of me wants to say it's gone by really quick, and then part of me says, really? It was only a month ago that it was Christmas Day? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm freezing cold right now. I don't know why. It's not that cold outside. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, I don't know. I've just got a chill. I seem to be getting that more frequently. And uh, I've got my hands here because <laughs> I may poke somebody's eye out. And I've been sitting here waiting for things to warm up and they're not warming up so I thought ah screw it <laughs> I'll just do my video so yeah we seem to be okay <laughs> how embarrassing but you know what hey we're all girls right so I hope you all had a good weekend and you enjoyed uh whatever you got up to which is probably not a whole heck of a lot um the weather was okay a few flurries it's been trying to snow for days and uh, it just it just doesn't. So, I mean, the sky is as blue as blue can be. And oh my goodness me, that's my crazy neighbor in a tank top. Not a pretty sight, I'm sorry to say. But, um, so she'll have a way bigger problem with being cold and having things that are sticking out than I. <laughs> Maybe not, though. Anyway, so I was in the shed this weekend looking for some bags that I had listed on uh, Kijiji. Uh, I live in Canada. Kijiji is uh, very similar to Craigslist. Um, eBay, not really. I don't know if they have Kijiji in the UK. I'm not sure. Um so I have a whole bunch of bags listed and they're bags that have some issues. So they're five, 10 bucks, whatever. And I had a lady contact me. She's interested in a bunch of them. Do you think I can find them? I don't know where they are. I have a very strong feeling that they may have got mixed up with some of the donation bags and maybe they are gone. So, um, I'll keep looking. But when I was looking, I found a bag of bags so I had some different stuff to list today because I am going to be honest and say I'm I'm really kind of scrounging now to uh, find things to list. And as I said uh, last week, I really do think that the algorithm on Etsy, which if you're new to my channel, um, part of what I do is just collect vintage leather bags. And the other part is I offer them for sale on uh, a platform called Etsy. And that's E-T-S-Y. Uh, the platform is restricted to vintage sellers and handcrafters. So uh, vintage in their books is 20 years or older. Um, can't absolutely definitively guarantee anything because clearly I wasn't there when these items were purchased. But I know enough about styles and, and what was trending uh, back in yesteryear. And uh, I can pretty well date um, a lot of the bags. Now, something exciting that I did mention to you last week is that some of the uh, late 90s, early 2000s styles are coming back. The little baguettes, uh, the little pouchettes. I've got a great uh, vintage denier that I found in this bag of bags. Um had a, a little, a few marks on it, so I've just cleaned it all, so it's it's drying right now, so I won't go and grab it, but I found some good stuff, so um, that's what I'm going to be showing you today, that's what I listed today. Uh, before I get to those three bags, there is the one bag um, that I listed on Friday, um, or was it Friday or Thursday? I didn't do a video on Friday, I don't know why, I just didn't feel like it. So this is a little bag I picked up on Thursday. Just simple. This color gets me every time. Uh, a mahogany a brown or a burgundy gets me. It, it's, it's nothing special. I like the, the decorative uh, buckles on each side. There are no other holes. 
I mean, could you put another hole here? Of course you could. But just as the bag sits, it's not uh, going to, the strap isn't going to be any bigger or smaller than that. It's a flap. And it's um, made in Argentina. Now, I have Googled, but it's all in uh, Spanish or whatever. And it has a serial number. So I think it's a, a very nice brand. It's like I said, it's nothing, nothing too exciting, but it's kind of classy. And I, and I like, I really like this color. So it's not a big bag. Little gusset on the bottom. And there is, uh, you know, there is a, a card or something in there to keep it uh, from collapsing. So that's just a little extra because I listed that on Friday. So to the first bag I listed today is this Oh, in I'm all well purple today. I got a couple of purple bags today. So this is kind of like a croc embossed uh, leather. It's a it's a deep purple. There are a little bit of uh, wear in the corners, which I have um, moisturized, and it's a million times better. But there there was a little drying in the corners. The strap is definitely a shoulder crossbody it would be a higher sitting crossbody so you could get it crossbody but what's really cool about it is it's one of these doctor style bags it's got the hinge in the middle so it's uh made in italy leather and here's your one pocket i've put this as uh, a 70s bag just this, this doctor style was very popular back then. Um, it did try and make a comeback last year or the year before. Uh, I had a couple of customers asking for it, but it didn't really, I like it. I think it's different, um, but it, it certainly isn't something that's caught on huge. But uh, yeah, so that's bag number one and it's a real deep well, you know what? It's not that deep. It's it's kind of a Barney purple. It's coming across as being much deeper, but it is it is kind of a Barney purple. And uh, if you know who Barney is, Barney's like our uh, Teletubbies or Big Bird, like a kid's uh, character. Okay, second bag is this funky ruched again purple but a lot deeper and it's got a little bit of reptile on there and it's just one of these funky 80s i've got quite a few of these top and it opens it's hinged on the ends as well now this is by delane a canadian manufacturer per like beautiful clean inside it's uh it's almost like a off-white velvet. All these little uh, little fluffs are uh, from the leather. When, because uh, I guess it's all raw leather behind here, so those little fluffs have just stuck to the lining. But yeah, no, there's no rips, no stains. Everything's. I mean, this has hardly been used. It does have a shorter strap, so crossbody, yeah, I don't think you'd get that crossbody, to be honest. Different, though, different. And you could put the strap inside and just have it as a clutch. It's cute. I like it. I like the purple. I I'm I like purple. Now this next brand, I haven't really been able to find out a lot about them. The brand is called Love Cat Paris. 
you can see that there is some wear on the heart here. So it's L-O-V-C-A-T Paris. And it's a cute, cute little bag. And again, very in keeping with, there's a love cat here. And all these grommets have love cat. And I mean, that's just attention to detail that a cheap uh, company would not take the time or the money to do. So um, the label is love cat paris there doesn't seem to be a serial number or anything of that nature it's got a really fun pink with uh, kind of yellowy hearts interior it is uh has a magnet there is one zipper here and a couple of pockets here I'm, I've put this as a 90s bag. There is what looks to be a phone pocket, but it's tiny. So it's very in keeping with those, um, you know, late 90s, early 2000s, those teeny weeny little uh, phones. Uh, I'm still watching my Sex in the City and I'm on, see, I just finished season four, which was 2001. And I mean, the phones are microscopic. So that's that's where a lot of these bags are coming from. And so not only does it have this magnet, but it has a drawstring. And that's what this, it's like one of those bolo things. Remember the, you know, you used to have them on your shirt. They were very in style at one point. So it kind of cinches up on the ends. The leather is just gorgeous. Little, little shoulder. So... I like it. The, the quality is there. The leather is just beautiful. Now, it does have a couple of issues. The one is the wear here. Nothing else. All the other uh, metal bits are, are great. There is one stitch that has separated right here. So the uh, thread has been seared. And uh, hopefully that will uh, protect that from uh, any further uh, running. But it's not an expensive bag. I think I put this at $65, I think. So it's not expensive, but it's definitely unique. I think the brand is um, a designer brand. Again, I couldn't find... A, there's a lot of bags out there, Love Cat, but not a lot of information. And some of them are very Hermes inspired, um, beautiful oranges and reds and, um, and all with this very bold heart detail, which I just think is so cute. It's kind of cool because Brighton has uh, the heart as their kind of uh, logo. And there's a couple of other bags that have hearts as well. So, so cute, cute little bag, beautiful, beautiful leather. So that's my three bags for today. Where did I put the other one? Oh, there they are. So I've been out and about, you know, still looking for those online treasures. I did find, um, I only picked up one bag. Oh, the little burgundy one was Thursday. And I did pick up one bag yesterday. But that's about it. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people don't know what's leather and what isn't. So that seems to be the concern at the moment and just the prices I mean there's so many bags for sale online whether they're luxury or not there's just so many of them so I've decided that I'm pretty well just going to hang on to all my non-vintage stuff um I'm trying to decide whether to keep the website or not it's not a lot of money a month but I mean, it, it's money a month, right? That really, I'm not sure if I'm getting the use out of it. But anyway, I'm not ready to pull the pull the plug on that quite just yet. Um, yeah, so nothing else really going on. Not a football fan, so I wasn't wasn't all that interested in the football. I enjoy watching other people freak out over their team. I find that very entertaining. 
and I'm getting really sick of this new phone. Now all of a sudden my YouTube, it won't automatically go to another video. It kicks me out every time whatever video I'm watching ends. And I've been into the settings and it says autoplay is activated. So I don't know, I'm getting kind of sick of it. But, you know, I can't have my kid over because uh, that's just not available to us at the moment. So hopefully February 11th, I think, is when the next reassessment of this uh, provincial stay-at-home order is going to be looked at. I think it's going to be expanded. I really do. But what to do, what to do. Anyway, folks, have a great rest of the day. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow.